Hey, Saida. Hi. Good evening. Hi, How are you? I'm fine. I try to do lo de la plataforma. Uh -huh. <laughs> no me salió. Vamos a ver. A ver. ¿Cuál era? El de, el de Word. Eh, red, lo tengo. Espérame. ¿Qué sección era? Five. Ah, pero es de la que le dije que, que no habíamos visto el tema todavía. ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, es el que vamos a ver el tema ahora, solo que, que si no me salió. Uh -huh. Así que voy a esperarme la explicación de ahora. Bueno, quiero ver... ¿Era de la primera parte o de la no segunda? Uh -huh. De la primera. De la primera. Ah, pues sí, probablemente la, la canción. Ah, no, 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 no. De la segunda, creo. Ah, de la segunda. Mm, uh -huh. Sí, porque estaba viendo más o menos, este, no me quiero adelantar mucho porque si no después no vamos a tener temas que tocar. <ríe> Entonces. ¿Y, ¿Y cuándo se terminan las clases, teacher? El jueves. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Entonces solo dos temas nos, nos van quedando. Entonces, por eso no, no, no quiero ir muy, muy ligero para, para, para tener la oportunidad de practicar, ¿verdad? Quiero ver. Sí. Ah, pues sí, es de la segunda. Es de sí, la segunda. de la segunda, ¿eh? Ajá, uh -huh. ahí, está, ahí está work. Ajá. Sí, la segunda más o menos entre mañana o el miércoles la vamos a ver más o menos, pero... Ah, Igual, vaya, está bien. No, no hay prisa. Uh -huh. Y el, bueno, a no ser que quiera adelantar el examen, también el examen lo podría adelantando para, para, que no, para que no se atrase, ¿verdad? Y luego, ya que hay la, tiempo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Porque, ajá, digamos, si después quiere hacer una que, que, que no ha hecho o después de hacer esta clase, igual les voy a mostrar la, la, la parte esa que, que, que se puede hacer. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, para que se acuerde de hacerla, ¿verdad? Y que, y que revise uh -huh. qué es lo que ha hecho. Uh -huh. Se puede Parece hacer. Uh -huh. Gracias. Hi, María Elena. Ya, yeah, no problem. Hi, María Elena. Hi, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. How are you? Uh, more and less. More or less. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am a headache. You have a headache? Uh -huh. And some fever. Oh, you have some fever. Uh, yeah, I, maybe maybe you need to sleep a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, I take some pills, antihistaminic. Okay, okay. Me adormeció. How do you say? Um, uh, you feel mm -hmm. sleepy. Um, uh -huh. I feel sleepy, you can say that. Feels, uh -huh. me siento con sueño. Uh -huh. I feel sleepy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. Like sleep, but sleepy. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Ah, um, okay. Uh -huh. Reactions, normal reactions. De, to the pill. The pill is antihistaminic. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, did you, I mean, you can take an acetaminophen, you know? <laughs> yeah. One gram, gram, how do you? Ah, one gram? Gram. Mm -hmm. Oh, two pills. Ah, okay, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if, if that works for you, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Do you work today? Mm, teletrabajo, telework. Ah, telework, I'm, like home uh -huh. office. Uh -huh. um, in my uh, of my house okay at a meeting with my apartment okay uh, um, talking about projects mm. uh, uh, proposals 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 mm -hmm. of the projects oh, okay um, 
how do you say redirection? Redirection. Yeah, redirection. Uh -huh. Okay. Redirection of projects. Okay. And where do you work? Um, I am technical in heterosexual oh, hetero and reproductive and sexual. Mm, ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. And uh, do you work, uh, but you don't work with the government, you work with an organization probably. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. uh -huh. I, uh, the last year, uh -huh. I work um, in For Salud. In For Salud, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, this year, um, I work. Eh, Fundación Educación y Cooperación. Ah, oh, Educo. Ah, por okay. Intervida. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Sounds nice. So, yeah, there are a lot of projects that you're thinking about the future, right? Yeah. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. I think El Salvador needs a lot of education, <laughs> and that's important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because. Yeah, Salvador needs a lot of education, and especially sexual education, mm -hmm. because there are many there are many young people uh, living life, <laughs> but yeah. they are not taking care of their bodies. Mm -hmm. Our um, questions uh, or, or that situation okay but um the people uh is care mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's true that's true okay but yeah that's a nice job i think you're doing something really nice and really important for for uh for the people and that's mm -hmm. nice thank you and uh, hi luis how are you I'm fine. Very good. Excellent. Okay. What about you? Uh, everything. I'm. I'm fine. I'm a little uh, tired because I was. I was working all day. Usually Mondays are very busy for me, and but I'm okay. I think I'm ready for the class. Are you ready for the class? Yeah, I am ready. Okay. Excellent. All right. Let's see. Um, bueno, se nos fue Saida, and. Let's see, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma, Luis? Now I'm doing the knowledge check five. The knowledge is check five in the last one or? At four. Ah, the fourth. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I want to know it. Okay, nice, nice. All right. So, welcome, everybody. Uh, good evening. Um, today we're going to practice some of the things that we uh, that we have been practicing before. Eh, me interesa que sigamos practicando un poco, pero vamos a enfocar este día un poco más en, en speaking, ¿ok? Eh, igual, yo sé que tenemos que terminar la plataforma, pero este sí me interesa que practiquemos un poco más eh, el hablar, eh, ya que en la clase pasada no tuvimos oportunidad de hacerlo con ese tema, con how. E igual manera vamos a eh, vamos a Eh, practicar un poco los comparatives and superlatives as well. And uh, no me voy a, no me voy a eh, acelerar mucho con, con, con los temas que nos hacen falta porque son relativamente fáciles. Entonces, eh, no me voy a acelerar mucho porque si no, no nos va a quedar temas. Eh, no nos van a quedar temas para miércoles y jueves. Okay? Así que ahorita nos vamos a relajar un poco y vamos a practicar lo que hemos visto hasta ahora. All right. So, uh, on the previous class, we were learning how to use how, okay? Aprendíamos cómo usar how para diferentes, eh, different type of questions. Uh, we were talking about distance. We were talking about measurement. We were talking about description and also about conditions. Creo que en la plataforma había un par de preguntas por ahí que estaban un poco complejas, más que todo creo que era la de Washington DC por las comas y los puntos que tenía, pero creo que en general eh, se entendió la idea de, 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 lo que, de lo que se tenía que preguntar, ¿ok? 
Por ejemplo, how far. Eh, hablamos de que la respuesta tiene que dar en kilómetros, que son kilómetros. Uh, measurement igual kilómetros cuadrados, squared kilómetros. Eh, how high. En ese caso, la respuesta se da en meters high. Okay. Eh, metros de altura. Eh, deep, how deep. Meters deep. Okay. Se da en metros de profundidad. Eh, how long. Igual acá se da en kilómetros. Okay. Y luego teníamos una pregunta bien básica. How tall are you? Okay. ¿Qué tan alto eres? And the answer, you need to give it with kilometers as well. Sorry, at meters, okay? Meters as well. Then we were talking about description and condition. Las descripciones y también la condición o eh, el clima en general, okay? For example, how big are pupusas in your city? Yo sé que eso que eso siempre nunca lo preguntamos, pero creo que es el ejemplo más... Eh, más entendible que puedo encontrar y en ese caso se, se dice o se responde con una medida ok o también comparándolo con otro eh, con otro eh, con otro objeto también how hot en ese caso eh, tenemos que responder con grados centígrados ok degrees celsius o fahrenheit si estamos más familiarizados con el usar el fahrenheit Y luego con how cold, ok, que era eh, grados centígrados también, pero tiene que ser de menor, eh, de menor cantidad, ok. Um, so vamos a hacer un par de preguntas solo para ver si nos acordamos de qué manera responder, ok. Let's see, Luis, how far is the supermarket from your house? Approximately, approximately, how far is the supermarket? From your house. In my case, the supermarket is one kilometer. Mm -hmm. It's one kilometer uh, far from my house. Mm -hmm. What about it's you? About 15, sorry, mm -hmm. it's about 15 kilometers. 15 kilometers, okay, wow. Yeah. So you need to go there by bus or by car. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes in motorcycle. Sometimes in motorcycle, okay. Yeah. And what about now? Do you have problems to go to the supermarket? Do you see police officers there or something? Yeah, there are, how do you say, retenes? Or... Retenes or pol um, police control, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. In this case, yeah, there are police control. Mm -hmm. Police control in the middle of the street. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are checking. The documents. If you are... have, uh -huh. or if you the reason, where are you going, mm -hmm. what are you going to do, mm -hmm. and some pair of questions. Okay, what about the supermarket? Have been, have they you, been full or empty? Or so-so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I went the last week and it was full. It was full? It's, yeah. There are many people trying to and you got to, to mm -hmm. you will got to wait and yeah uh, to make a line hard. you know yeah you have to do a lot of things right <laughs> okay yeah all right thank you let's see marielena how far is the supermarket from your house one one kilometer one kilometer okay do you go there with your car or do you go there walking no, walking. Walking. Yeah. Okay. Do you see police officers when you go to the supermarket? I don't know. I don't. Ah, uh, you don't go out. Ah, okay. Who goes out? Um, three weeks ago. Okay. Uh huh. Three weeks ago, who went? Your husband, your brother, your father. Um, uh -huh. no, alone. Ah, you went? Uh-huh. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, wow, but... Mm. And when when do you think you are going to go? <laughs> because you may yeah. need some things, you know? <laughs> when? Yeah. Tomorrow, next week, next weekend? ¿Cuándo cree que tiene que volver a ir? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Next week. 
next week, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you need to have um, your mask. Do you have mask? No, I don't have. Oh my. But for this, I know going. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, we need to be careful with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But are there mini stores near your house? Hay tiendas cerca de su casa? Un par. A little, I mean, uh, only like, like two. <laughs> like uh -huh. two. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, but yeah, we need to be careful with that. In my case, um, I don't think, uh, I, I haven't seen police officers, uh, for example, between my house and the supermarket, no. But in the marketplace, in the Mercado, yes. I have seen uh, police officers. I think I went to the supermarket last, um, last, last weekend, not, not, not yesterday, the previous weekend, okay? And it was full too. It was full of people. You had to wait in the sun. <laughs> so it was very, it was very difficult. Let's see. Uh, Luis, do you know how high is your house? Approximately? Mm -hmm. It's let me see. It's three meters, three meters high. Three meters high. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Three so it, it is. It is. It is one floor only. So let you piece. Yeah. Ah, okay. Only one floor. Okay. Only one floor. Yeah. Okay. That's good. What about you, Marilena? How high do you think is your house? How high? Also two meters. Two meters or three meters? No, mm, approximate mm -hmm. two meters. Two meters. Um, point six. Ah, okay. Seven or <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay. In my case, my house is two floors, so I think it's like eight meters, I think. Um, like eight meters, approximately. It's high. Yeah, it's a little high. And it is, uh, it is in a, it is not a mountain, but it's, it is like a piece of land and it is very high, but it is not a mountain. I don't know, my house is kind of weird, <laughs> but it is not a mountain. It is not on a mountain, it is like on a piece of land. I como un pedazo de tierra que está alto. I don't know why, but it is a little high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's my house. Uh, now, how long is your house? Okay, how long do you think is your house? In my case, I think it is eight meters as well. No, no, maybe maybe twelve meters. Maybe twelve. Uh huh. What about you guys? What about Luis? Do you know how long? It's about 15. 15 meters. Yeah, yeah. it is about 15 meters. Long, okay. okay. Yeah, 15 meters long. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about Maria, Lena? My house, um, 16 meters. 16 meters, okay. Yeah. Okay, and do you live in the city people or do you live in the countryside, you know? like in a canton what we call countryside mm -hmm. or outside the city I, uh -huh. I live city you live in the city. the city okay yeah. okay and luis where do you live i live in a village he's ah, okay. village. Uh -huh. in a village uh-huh yeah okay that's uh, nice that's between nice between santa Ana and Takachico city ah okay okay yeah. is it um no is it uh, Saint Isabel, not right. Yeah, is it the? Yeah, there's no. a cemetery. There's a. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my grandmother. Yeah, my grandmother lives in Saint Isabel. <laughs> That's why I know that place. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. All right. Okay. It's nearer from. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it is very close, and I work at Unicaes, so I think it's very close as well. <laughs> okay. Hi. I, every day I, I got to 
Yeah. <laughs> take the bus in the unicab. Ah, you have to My take wife. the bus. Ah, yeah. okay. Okay, perfect. And hi, Pedro. Hi, teacher. How are How you? How are you? Fine, and you? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. I, <laughs> I uh, three minutes come back from the super. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> You were in the supermarket. You were washing your 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 body and everything. <laughs> yes, yes. Take a shower too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is important. Okay, uh, Peter. I mean Pedro. How long? How long do you think is your house? Um. And respect what point? And. I don't know, longer, for example, we were talking that in, in my case, my house may be 15 meters. Um, Luis and uh, Maria were telling me like 16 meters or 18 meters. Uh -huh. Area, area or, or long? Longer. Mm -hmm. But it, long is not a square. Yeah. No, no, only, only long. Not not square. In the front of. Yeah. In front of. Or? In front of. Uh huh. Uh, in front of. Um, nine point five meters. Ah okay. Nine point five meters. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's see the next one. How tall is your wife or your husband? Okay. How tall is your wife and your husband or your husband? If you don't have a wife or if you don't have a husband. Maybe you can talk about your sister or your brother, okay? Or if you don't have a brother or a sister, you can talk about your father or mother. In my case, I'm going to talk about my sister. I think my sister is 1.76, no, 1.78 meters. Yeah, she's a little taller than me. She's a little taller than me. Let's see, Marilena. How tall is your wife? How tall is your husband? My brother. <laughs> ah, your brother. Okay. My how tall is your brother? My brother is tall, uh, 1.72 meters. Okay. 1.72 meters. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Luis, how tall is your wife or sister or mother? My, my sister in this okay. case. Okay. Uh-huh. How tall is she? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Approximately, what do you think? Is she taller or shorter than you? She's shorter than me. She's shorter, okay. So yeah. how, how tall do you think? Approximately. Like the, the first word, it's like mm -hmm. approximately one point one meter or more in one meter sixty. Okay, one point sixty. One meters. point sixty meters. Okay, okay, that's nice. She's a little short, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's very short. <laughs> Let's see, yeah. and. Uh, Pedro, how tall is your wife? She's a little. My wife is uh, <laughs> 1.7 meters. 1.7 meters. Okay. Okay. That's nice. And finally, how hot is your house, people? How hot is your house? You can check your cell phone if you have an app for... Uh, the the like the degrees in Celsius, like in my case, I have the weather app. You can tell me how hot is right now in your house. Like in my case, I will say uh, my house is twenty six degrees Celsius. Okay, twenty six degrees Celsius. Uh, what about in your house? Let's see, Luis. Do you know how hot? Or how cold, if it's cold. <laughs> how hot is your house right now? Now I'm searching, let me see. Mm -hmm.
it gets up to about 25 trees. It's fresh because there are many trees around my ah, house. Ah, okay. 25, 25 yeah. degrees. And, uh, and we... Yeah. I think that's that's better when 20, you have a twenty nine. Ah, twenty nine. Ah, so it, it is it is hotter than here. Yeah, twenty nine. <laughs> it is hotter than here. Here in Metapan right now in my house is twenty six, around twenty six. Um, what about let's see, Pedro? How hot is your house right now? My house is eighty degrees Celsius right now. <laughs> eighty. Yes, in, 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 inside my home, in, uh -huh. inside my house, uh -huh. in, in um, uh, out in my house is uh, 20, 20, 27. Ah, 27, 26, okay. 27, 10, 26. Okay, perfect. What about Maria Elena? How hot is your house right now? My house, maybe 27, 28. Okay, degrees. 27, okay, degrees, excellent. Okay, perfect. And um, Saida, do you know how hot is your house right now? Mm, 23. 23, really? Yes. That's yes. nice. <laughs> yeah, you're very cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. And where do you live, Saida? Ilopango. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Is I mean, was it raining before? Estaba lloviendo antes o no? No, yesterday, ah. but today no. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. All right, thank you. So, uh, como les decía al principio, chicos, eh, solo para que no nos quedemos sin temas al final en esta semana. Eh, voy a hacer un pequeño repaso de lo que hemos visto hasta el día de ahora, ¿ok? Este es nada más un pequeño repaso de las preguntas usando how. Estas son, digamos, las más comunes, las que se aplican a nuestro, a nuestro país. De lo contrario, si usted es un guía turístico o, o está dando un tour en su compañía y, no sé, hay bastantes cosas altas o, o profundas ahí, si es necesario que maneje, digamos, el how, how, how high, how deep, etcétera, pero... Eh, quizás lo más común es que usamos acá en El Salvador es de how far o how tall, how hot or how, how, how cold is something, ok, or your house or uh, your city or whatever, ok pero de lo contrario creo que si no trabaja en algo en la que usan bastantes medidas no creo que use las demás sin embargo es, es bueno saberlos ok, así que ahí teníamos algunas preguntas usando how Ahora vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio usando comparatives and superlatives. And, y lo voy a explicar en español, ¿ok? Um, over here, tengo tres, eh, tengo tres, eh, tengo tres objetos. Usted me tiene que decir, eh, which one would the world be better without? Eso quiere decir, ¿con cuál sería el mundo mejor? ¿Con cuál de esos o sin, sin, cómo le explico? Hay uno de esos que no es necesario en el mundo. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es el que no es necesario o, o, o con cuál ustedes creen que, el, que podríamos vivir en ese mundo? Ajá, ¿con cuál podríamos, eh, el, cuál, cuál sería el que, el, que no, el que no necesitamos, digamos, de los tres? ¿Okay? Entonces usted en inglés me tiene que explicar, ah, teacher, I think this one because... It is not important or uh, they are used only for in a specific, uh, for in a specific uh, use. For example, solo para los un ejemplo, aquí tengo el primero. Mice, que serían eh, ratones. Cars and corn, okay? Cars and corn. Me tendría que decir por qué es importante mice, por qué es importante cars, y probablemente por qué no es tan importante corn, okay? Entonces ahí usted me tiene que explicar por qué cree que uno es más importante que otro. Ahí nada más quiero ver cómo usamos los comparatives y los superlatives. Entonces, por ejemplo, voy a hacer el primero yo. Ok, I think cars are important or I think cars are more important than corn because you need a car to go to another place if you need to go to the supermarket 
or if you if you have an emergency you can take a person uh, with your car and also I think corn is is important I think it's even more important than mice because you can eat corn uh, there are many things that you can do with corn for example you can make pusas you can make tortillas you can make typical dishes um, you can make bread okay there are different things that you can do with corn and I don't think mice uh, in this case, ratones, uh, in, I don't think they are important because they are uh, they are ugly. I think they are less useful than cars and corn because mice only eat your things. You know, like they eat the things from your from your uh, from your closet, from your wardrobe. Okay, and I don't think they are important. Okay. So, siempre va a haber una que usted no prefiere. Entonces, me tiene que explicar por qué comparada con las demás, por qué no prefiere esa. Okay? Igual van a haber en unos momentos, en unas palabras que sí van a ser difíciles. Decidir con cuál no viviría usted o con cuál fuera el mundo más feliz. O sin esa, por qué el mundo fuera feliz sin esa. Entonces, esa es la idea. Okay? Esa es una actividad nada más para speaking. Cuando usted puede meter los comparatives o superlatives, métalos. Eh, porque esa es la idea, okay? que practiquemos eh, esos temas que hemos visto hasta ahora. So let's see. Vamos a empezar con Mr. Pedro. Over there, let's see. You got three points. Let's see, Mr. Pedro. One, two, three. So sugar, guns, and hospitals. Which one do you think is less important and why? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the, the hospital is most important mm -hmm. uh, because for to help the, and the, the sick people mm -hmm. or, or different problems or similar this situation in actually coronavirus <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but but sugar, uh, yes, uh, is, uh, is more important too. And in uh, in the food or mm -hmm. or in the drink. Okay. But but for me, is is necessary uh, sugar. Um, and the the gun is is a, is a less important because it's possible to obtain other substitution. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, for example, um, yeah, I'm thinking about the United States, like they have a lot of guns, you know, and they have had many problems because of guns. You know the meaning of guns, right? Like pistols or uh, AK-47, AK-47, and things like those. Those are guns, okay? So yeah, I don't think they are that important, okay? There are more important things, but that guns are not that important. <laughs> All right, let's see, Luis. <laughs> let's see, Luis. Two points. Okay, let's see, traffic, computers, and doctors. Which one do you think is less important? And why the others are so important? Uh -huh. I think computer, computers are very important right now. And in this case, we are working. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the Okay. Com yeah, computers are more important mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than traffic is less mm -hmm. important for me. And mm -hmm. doctors are very important because if we have problems with our health, mm -hmm. we can go to the doctor or any check-in to... Mm -hmm. And traffic, why do you think traffic is so important?
Yeah, because that, that would be the least important. And why do you think traffic is so bad? Mm -hmm. Because the traffic sometimes you go or you you go late to your work. If there are many traffic. Okay. And uh, for me, it's the less important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we, you go, we shouldn't live without traffic. Mm -hmm. And when you go to work, how much time do you spend on traffic? Sometimes I spend like 20 minutes waiting in the uni cars because mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> sometimes it's crowded. Yeah, sometimes it is very crowded. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And the same happens when you go back yeah. to your house, sometimes right? Sometimes I got to wake up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, when I, yeah, in the, sometimes he, when I, oh, let me see, yeah, approximately six or like, sorry. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't think we need traffic. However, we need cars and that's something <laughs> That's something strange, right? That we need to, that we need the cars, but we don't like traffic. <laughs> All right, let's see, Saida, your turn, okay? Mm -hmm. Two points. Okay, Saida, here are the words. Plastic bags, okay, like the ones that you get in the supermarket. When you go to Super Selectus, right, you get plastic bags. Hunting, it is like killing animals. Uh, and box. Uh -huh. So tell me which, why are some of them important and which one do you, do you think is less important? More important for me is um, clocks. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, no, 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 no. More important for me is I, no, say clocks. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, why? Mm, because it's necessary to have the time to do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. And but plastic bag is important too for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, I don't know. And hunting. Is it important? Hunting? No, they are important. The animals need to, la to live. Uh -huh. The animals need to live. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Um, yeah. Remember that there are other ways to, I mean, if you don't want to use a plastic bag, maybe you can have your own uh, uh, bag, you know, made of, made of fabric, made of tela. Okay. Yes, for yeah. me it's just, it's good not use to plastic bags because mm -hmm. you save the turtles mm -hmm. and the other animals. Mm -hmm. True, okay, true. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, let's see. And Maria Elena, now it is your turn. Let's see. Those are five points. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now this is a difficult one. Cities, mountains, and beaches. Which ones do you think, or which one do you think is not, it is not important? Mm -hmm. <laughs> For me, uh, the three place is very important. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, but, but the, the less, more, the less important, the uh -huh. more, the mm -hmm. important is the mountains. Mountains, uh huh. Mountains. 
Why but, are they more important than the others? But um, it's life. Yeah, exactly. They are life, it's right? More, mm -hmm. It's more uh, three. More trees. Natural. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, um, natural uh, resources, mm -hmm. recursos naturales, you know, reserve, natural reserves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Reserves. Uh -huh. Okay. And health, uh, sustainably. Sustain. Sustain the world. Exactly, they help to sustain the world. Uh huh. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, what about beaches? Are they important? Are important. Mm -hmm. But the beach is clean. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. They need to be clean. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. In cities, um, it's, <laughs> it's important, but um, we are the structures the, the structures the structures mm -hmm. the mountain the beach mm -hmm. and all yeah like the city is affecting everything right everything uh -huh. but in the city we work i think that's important too. <laughs> uh -huh. for this the three place is very important uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah uh, Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. What about the others? Which one do you think is less important, people? Because this is a difficult one. I mean, we need a city for working, right? We need the city for working. But do we need the mountains and do we need the beaches? Which one do you think is less important from all of this? For me, the beaches, the mountains, uh -huh. no, but the beaches, yes. They are important for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I love, <laughs> I love it. Ah, you love the beach. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes. And, uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, that was, that was a question. Let's see. What about you, Liz? What do you think? I think the cities, if for ancient, okay, who live with cities, we can do it. Okay, yeah, we can't, we can't live with cities. Yeah, because maybe you can work. Um, yeah. I don't know. You can work in 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 your place, right? Like, I don't know, getting vegetables or something like in the countryside, like in los cantones, right? You can produce everything. In your house if you prefer but the cities are like more modern yeah, and mm -hmm. okay what about you pedro what do you think which which is less important the city the mountain or the beaches okay um the mountain is important um, for the different free species and mm -hmm. animals too. And <laughs> the, uh, the beaches, uh, the thing is less important, is uh, more important than the ocean. But the city is. Um, for the different countries is uh, uh, more important. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I agree, I agree. All right, now it is my turn, let's see. Four, four points. One, two, three, four. Okay, English, language, uh, lux, lux and makeup, okay. Makeup. Uh, locks are candados, okay? Candado. And makeup is the makeup for the girls, right? 
and the English language. Mm -hmm. I think the less important, well, you know, English language is very important because if you travel to another country, it doesn't matter Europe, Asia, or any part of the world, maybe they speak English and it's a good way for communicating with others, right? Um, I don't know about makeup. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's necessary. It. it is necessary? <laughs> really? <laughs> Yes. Why? <laughs> For the women. Why? <laughs> Do they look more beautiful or what? Or increase the you, or increase the, the beauty. Ah, to increase the beauty. Okay. What do you think, Saida? Mm -hmm. Let's ask a woman. What do you think, Saida? No, makeup not is necessary for me. It's more ah. necessary in English and looks. And looks, yeah. Luck, yes. Mm -hmm. What about Maria Elena? What do you think? Uh, it's, it's necessary mm -hmm. sometimes. Sometimes, but, uh -huh. but no, it's less important. Mm -hmm. it, it, but uh, it's most important, more important. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think makeup is like it's like perfume because I don't think we need perfume. We put perfume because we want to smell nice, right? But, but I don't think it is necessary. Um, but yeah, locks are, I think locks are important. For, for example, if you don't lock your house, maybe any person can enter into your house. So that can be dangerous. Uh -huh. And, uh, and I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, the women, they said that, that it is not important, right? Pedro says it is important because they look more beautiful. Probably. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it, that depends, that depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that depends. Yeah, there are, there are some people that they don't care if the woman is wearing or not wearing makeup. But when they wear makeup, they look very nice. And I think that for them is important, right, Pedro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going to do the last one. Let's see, we're going to do the last one. Number two, TV, mosquitoes, and divorce. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is, okay, this is a tricky one. Uh -huh. Do you think it's important, the TV people? Yes. Yes. Why? <laughs> Why is TV important? Uh -huh. By the relax. Ah, if you want to relax, okay. Okay. Entertainment. Entertainment. Uh huh. What are funny. some funny? It is funny. Uh huh. Okay. What do you say, pasatiempo? A hobby. A hobby. Okay. Pasatiempo. But do you do you watch TV or do you watch Netflix? What do you do, people? Um, <laughs> two forms: TV and Netflix. Ah, okay. You yeah, do? because it. If you want to watch TV, I mean, if you want to watch Netflix, you can do it from your cell phone or a tablet. Mm -hmm. It is not necessary to have a TV. Mm -hmm. No, but it's necessary. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh huh. If you because want to. Because when I use my cell phone, my sobrino ah, watch TV. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> So it is like a distraction. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay, okay, I got it. Uh, what about you, Pedro? What do you think? Which one is less necessary? And the TV is most um, most important. Uh huh. And the least important? Uh, most mosquitoes. Oh, how do the you least, say? The mosquitoes? least important mosquitoes. Uh huh. <laughs> Yes, the mosquito is a less important. Yeah, because it's like zzz, at night, right in your ear, and they yes. and you're like, no, go away. It's I... <laughs> <It's safe. laughs> yeah, and sometimes you can get uh, sick. For example, in the night. Can, uh huh, you can get sick, like dengue or or Zika, you know. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. What about divorce? Do you think it's important? 
depend depends it depends ha uh -huh. depends that no exists the the good relationship or toxic yeah. relationship <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay violence or violence oh, vi violence violence case uh -huh. if you don't happy in this relationship you okay can divorce yeah because at the beginning it's like yes i love you right yes. but then but then it's like i hate you <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's kind of it's kind of difficult uh -huh. you are single mm -hmm. yeah if i am single yes i am single <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what divorce is. <laughs> and I don't know what to have. I mean, I know I have had a relationship before, but no, thank you. <laughs> I prefer to be alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's better. I mean, I would like to have children in the future, you know, but right now probably no. Hmm. Yeah, right now no. I, need to, I have I, to chill, but uh -huh. I am divorced. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I think, I mean, those those are decisions that you make in time, right? And it's a personal mm -hmm. decision. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's a personal decision. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, thank you so much. So, as I said, this class is about practicing. Okay, esa clase más que todo la quería hacer para practicar, para que se soltara un poco. Y para que practiquemos un poco más este, el speaking, ¿ok? A partir de mañana vamos a empezar a ver el tema de eh, el future, ¿ok? De hecho, hay dos estructuras que se parecen bastante. Y que incluso si usted trata de hacerla en la plataforma, puede hacer que se confunda, ¿ok? Pero mañana vamos a empezar a clarificar esas dudas que tengan en cuanto a eso, ¿ok? Um, ya estamos en la sección número 5. Eh, Ese es nada más un repaso de las primeras cuatro opciones, de las primeras cuatro secciones que teníamos. Igual, si usted quiere dejar la sección número cinco y quiere empezar a hacer el examen final, también puede empezar a hacerlo. Recuerde que no se le, no sé, digamos, si empieza la parte uno y después decide retomarlo, no va a tener que volver a repetirla porque ya hizo alguna parte. ¿okay? Así que no, no, no hay problema, usted siga a su ritmo. Eh, terminamos las clases el jueves, este jueves. Y recuerde que tienes el viernes para hacer el examen, ¿ok? Entonces, uh -huh. tómese su tiempo, vaya tranquilo, revise parte por parte. Y cualquier duda la despejamos acá o me manda un mensaje y yo le ayudo, ¿ok? Así que, thank you so much. Have a good night, everybody, and see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Bye-bye. Bye.